Hello friends, my dear audience is welcome to the East to West show, exclusive sponsored by Paul Batelli, an internationally renowned name brand for men's suit. That's the Italian style I call, uh, that represents culture, tradition, and even uh, fashion. Uh, Paul, thank you for sponsoring. Back to the show. Uh, the show today, uh, I would like to uh, introduce my old friend. Uh, only for the past few months, he has been absent due to busy schedule. Matter of fact, he is uh, acquainted for this show, quite for some years. Uh, Mr. Fu, to be, uh, Mr. Peter Fu. To be precise, Dr. Peter Fu. Doctor, welcome to the thank show. Thank you very much, my friend Jack. Uh, it's always glad to be here. Thank you. Dr. Fu has a big credit, yet his credit goes into two different fields, which are miles away. <laughs> okay. He was successful, very successful, with his own establishment of theories in the... Uh, Molecular biology. Molecular. I have a problem with <laughs> molecular biology in the field uh, of molecular biology. All right, and uh, for that, and there's a mo one monument. The second monument is that when he retires, enters into business world, he has another monument, and he's successful for Siba International, a big, big, huge company for. Thank you very much. Promotion Pro promotion industry. industry. Promotional, promotional industry. Uh, industry. Yeah, all right, good. Industry, very good. Yeah. So I'm very glad that you're here. Thank you very much. And always glad to uh, meet oh, with right, you okay. and glad now that you're here. Now we're talking yeah. about his third monument. In my eye, he is my political commentator. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're talking about our third monument now. Uh, with uh, Dr. Who, I would like to share with my audience what's happening ever since Donald Trump, president elect. Uh, been busy on his preparation for taking the job, right? And it was about a week ago, there was a news that came uh, that he picked up a call from somebody, Tsai, from Taiwan. And three days later, he had made an announcement about his appointment to ambassador to China, to Terry Constant. So is it very mystifying, and the uh, papers and news talk a lot about it. So in nature, how do you feel as a political commentator at this very moment, please? Well, first, uh, you have to realize uh, that uh, Mr. Trump uh, wants to say whatever in his mind at that moment, okay? Mm -hmm. So he has said a lot of wild things, before uh -huh. the uh, election, and, and he also said a lot of wild, crazy things mm -hmm. after election okay, as well. Okay, all right. So we have to realize that, <clears throat> so not to be completely, totally shocked at this moment. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Mr. Trump will be the president okay. in January 20th. Mm -hmm. Now, his action and his words mm -hmm. will... Uh, basically guide the country which direction they're going to go. And, you, and the whole world. The whole world. The whole world, And, yes. uh, you know, from a diplomatic level, mm -hmm. from economic level, from military level. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. They all involved with China. Yeah, yeah. They all involved with another China. Word, another word, another word, another word, my dear audience. Is, uh, I do agree with the fact that this guy has a very loose lips, right? And lots of people say he barks more than he bites. <clears throat> he barks mm -hmm. more than he bites. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with him commenting on women being fat. I do have problem for him to lay any comment on issues as big as U.S.-China relationship, as U.S.-China relationship centering the issue of Taiwan. Uh, you know what? First, I think uh, Mr. Trump uh, is uh, smart enough uh, to realize that U.S.-China's relationship mm -hmm. is the most bilateral mm -hmm. relationship in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, they're number one, number two uh, economies uh, in, in the world. Yes. And also the U.S.-China trade is number one for mm -hmm. both countries. Okay. For both countries. Uh -huh. 
So, however, um, Mr. Trump's, uh, Mr. Trump wants to uh, flip stones, throw stones to test the water, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's his style. However, you don't want to shock the foundation. You are right. You're right. Don't want to You're shock foundation the foundation. Is yeah. the word. There will be consequences mm -hmm. if you shock the foundation okay. by word. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There will be consequences if you shock the foundation mm -hmm. by action. Mm -hmm. uh, for example. Let's say that you know this is building is great building for the industry here, and someone say, "Wow, this is great! Let's shake the foundation and see what happens." You don't yeah. want to do that. It is way too much important. Even testing water. No, uh, I. It, 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 you know what? Be, uh, this is why we want to mm -hmm. analyze this issue mm -hmm. in the deep level, from diplomatic, sure. economic, uh -huh. and the military level. Okay, uh, uh, between the United States and China. Even to the outside of the world, the issue of Taiwan is based upon one understanding that Taiwan is a breakaway of China. It's a part of China, yet breakaway, right? For that, you're talking about one sovereignty, one country, one China. And uh, be it right, be it wrong, it is a historical reality for 39 years since 1979. Am I right? Yeah. With the, uh, with the, with the uh, Shanghai, uh, uh, what is it, declaration? Declaration. Right? Yeah. Agreement. Okay, now, yes. agreement. Uh, if you go back starting from 72, mm -hmm. when Mao Zedong and Kissinger, now Kissinger, Nixon, uh, Nixon mm -hmm. when they met, mm -hmm. right, which was the foundation for that foundation, mm -hmm. you're talking about 45 years mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. And in one century, there is only one 45 years, right? So such being the foundation, you don't want to rock it. Well, definitely. Well, first, uh, when you look at the US-China uh, diplomatic uh, and economic uh, history, mm -hmm. uh, it started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, in 1972, uh, President Nixon visited China. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, do you think uh, the China, the U.S., uh, they like each other? At the then, probably not really. Not one is capitalist country, mm -hmm. one is a communist country. Yeah. Uh, but they have the need, they have the urge to, to normalize the relationship. Mm -hmm. And that the U.S. government then realized that mm -hmm. the relationship between China and the U.S. is very, very important mm -hmm. for the future mm -hmm. of both U.S. and mm -hmm. China. So they started a contact and, and normalized relationship. Mm -hmm. By 1979, mm -hmm. they have already uh, uh, agreed uh, in the declaration, that agreement, uh, that, that China mm -hmm. is the only legitimate mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. and that Taiwan is part of China. Yeah. Now, that's the foundation. Yes, all right. Okay. Start then. Okay. And mm -hmm. the relationship between U.S. and China uh, was built based on that bedrock foundation mm -hmm. and has been steadily and moved it's forward. Been confirmed, reconfirmed after several presidencies. Correct. Several presidencies mm -hmm. during the 45 years. Correct. Right? And never been shaken, never been rocked, never been overturned. Correct. To 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 the to, to the uh, I mean outside world though, mm -hmm. even though that was a ten minute call, mm -hmm. for him taking it, is a really a big move. Well, should I indicate about his ignorance? Should I indicate that he is more profound, a politician? Should I indicate he has no wonderful people within his team? Those things, those are the things, Peter are in question? Well, first, uh, you have to uh, uh, realize that Mr. Trump uh, is a business person first. Uh -huh. <laughs> so whatever he sees okay. mm -hmm. is his interest, what he can gain. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he's ignorant. What are his uh, interests in there? In well, the basically, issue. he has already said mm -hmm. that uh, the reason that he said that he did not have to stick with one China policy mm -hmm. uh, was to basically to get a more better deals, trade and other things with China. Mm -hmm. Now, by saying that, basically he's using that mm -hmm. as a leverage, a chip, a bargaining chip and card. Now White House has already refused to say Taiwan is not a negotiating uh, element for one China policy. 
No, all right. Now, okay. I don't think Mr. Trump is ignorant not to know that, but he still wants to test the water, see how China that's, responds. That's quite how a he can get benefit uh -huh. of economy and other things, that's, including that's quite a move, many other aspects. Quite a move of no, of no uh, for a mission for no target, no even destiny for him himself, right? So. Suppose if he did not know how important the China-U.S. relations relationship foundation is, he might at least know something that U.S., Russia, and China, among the three nations, right? The the best way to get things done are to keep the United States relationship with China more stronger, stronger than Russia so that you will together deal with Russia, right? Well, so? John, yeah, uh, I think China and U.S. relationship mm -hmm. um, is different between U.S. and Russian relationship, mm -hmm. and that is in many aspects. Number mm -hmm. one, economic-wise, U.S. and China are number one, number two economy mm -hmm. in the world. Right. They You're can right. stabilize mm -hmm. the world economy. And number two, China's current development is different from, say, 40, 50 years ago. You cannot mm. view China as the beginner de mm. developing countries or, or third world yeah, countries. Yeah, they actually hold say. most of the U.S. bond. Yes. Mm. They actually are the biggest producer uh -huh. for U.S. economy. Mm. They actually mm. created mm. and maintain yes. millions of jobs mm. in the U.S. Yes. I think Mr. Trump is smart enough and to also, realize that. And important also, if he's a successful businessman, he should first realize that China and the U.S., regardless of how far away each other from each other in political field, in the economy, they are kind of one already. That I, I have my business in you, you have my business in China. And in China, you go, you travel any city, and I will, I will just bet you wouldn't see any city without a McDonald's, without a, uh, a Pizza Hut or something like that. And the, in the United States though, even your theater, AMC, are being are bought by Mr. Wang, Wang Jianlin. Right, right, right. Yeah? By right? Chinese company. And he's buying, they're, they're worth saying that Wang Jianlin is buying Hollywood, mm. or something like that. Mm. So you're talking about mixed, mm. a mixed pie, right? So for him not to realize it, that's a failure. My dear audience, today uh, with my good friend, Dr. Fu, a political commentator, we share with you about the fact, about the um, acrobatic, I call it acrobatic move, <laughs> of uh, Mr. Donald Trump, president-elect, in between your relationship with uh, you, between United States and China. Let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll continue finding what's wrong with him and what is he exactly want to do in the China-U.S. relationship issue. Stay with us, please. Hello, my dear friends, my dear audience, welcome back to the from East to West the show that is uh, exclusively con sub uh, sponsored by Paul Batanli, an internationally renowned men's style for his brand name that represents culture, uh, history, even uh, fashion and the tradition. So Paul, for thank you for sponsoring. Back to the show with my friend, Dr. Hu. Uh, we're talking about Donald Trump. To give a definition or to go deeper into Donald Trump, there might be two different ways to, to go. Number one, to take Donald Trump as a innocent guy uh, who is only nothing but ignorant, or to take him as a more profound politician who sees the water deeper than others see. So anyway, he does something which is totally, well, opposite to the opposite of 
people, what people want, though. So, to which way do you tilt more in in defying the 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 the, the president elect piece? Well, first, uh, I think Donald Trump is a snob smart enough to realize how important U.S.-China relationship mm -hmm. is. And also, uh, Mr. Trump uh, has been dealing with uh, the Chinese uh, companies and from the business point of view, mm -hmm. as well as uh, from uh, you know, other contact. He knows deeply about mm -hmm. China. So I don't think he's uh, ignorant uh, in realize how important uh, the mm -hmm. U.S.-China relationship is. But uh, the way that he threw stone testing the water is his style. Uh, so we have to analyze that in three levels. We have talked a little bit about the diplomatic level mm -hmm. that U.S.-China established since the okay. 1970s. Uh -huh. Now, the, you mentioned uh, you know, some of the investment uh, and business that U.S. companies in China, mm -hmm. such as McDonald's, Pizza yeah, Hut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Subway, and other mm -hmm. things, but those are very small portion nowadays. Yeah. The total trade between U.S. and China annually is at about uh, $670 billion. Wow. So, uh, mm -hmm. and that primarily uh, including aircrafts, Mm -hmm. Electronic machinery yeah, right. and other machinery, as well as mm -hmm. agriculture mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. grains, corns, and beans, Inclu and other things, including corns, and uh, <laughs> okay. and also uh, mm -hmm. that probably may not include the education investment. The Chinese is sending, you know, uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of their kids mm -hmm. to the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, for the education investment, who which could are, be billions, billions of dollars. Or from the rich families. Well, you know, rich right? or not, the Chinese mm -hmm. uh, uh, culture really emphasizes uh, mm -hmm. uh, education. Mm -hmm. So even if they have a limited amount of money, mm -hmm. they probably will choose to send their kids to the U.S. Mm -hmm. or to other countries to such, further their education. Such, such being the trend, mm -hmm. why would somebody? still want to test water at the cost of shaking the foundation. Well, that's a very good point. Remember, yeah. the uh, American is a capitalist country. Mm -hmm. Now, the U.S. government is deeply in influenced by companies such as military, industry, mm -hmm. and others. Now, the U.S. Uh, has been selling uh, military uh, uh, weapons mm -hmm. to Taiwan for mm -hmm. decades. Mm -hmm. Now, when you think of that, uh, 30, 40 years ago, that's a huge amount of money. But when you think it of now, mm -hmm. which is at about 1.8 to $2 billion, compared mm -hmm. to $670 billion, the U.S. Mm -hmm. and China trade, that is nothing. However, the defense industry uh, does not want to give up mm -hmm. that $2 billion mm -hmm. weapon uh, sales. Okay, okay. And in addition... Uh, in other words, mm -hmm. he has the engagement. Yeah, exactly. He wants. He has yeah, that. yeah, and also the U.S. Taiwan mm -hmm. business trade is only about seventy-eight billion dollars mm -hmm. compared to you know six hundred and eighty mm -hmm. billion dollars between U.S. and China. That's about a one eighth of that. So mm -hmm. economically, it's not a whole lot. However, Mr. Trump want to use Taiwan mm -hmm. as a bargaining chip to get a better deals with China. However, the way that he tested the water mm -hmm. is shift to the foundation. Yeah. It's not the way to do that. And the cost goes beyond, no. beyond consideration. Uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. A lot, you don't want right? to do that. Okay, now, stretch the point. Stretch the point to, to a little larger uh, scheme, though. We'll find out, even though he says that he is trying so determined to cut off the connections of... Uh, of uh, of uh, interest group with the American politics. It, which yet, is impossible. Yet he can't. Which is impossible. And what he's doing now is he believes he's obligated, he will continue that right to sell military supply to, to other countries or regions or areas, including Taiwan. Well, uh, Mr. Right? Trump uh, uh, definitely has his own opinion for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, however, when you look at his cabinetry, there's a lot of billionaires. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, uh, golden, golden sacks oh, yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know what? Uh, he will be influenced by these people around You're him. Right. And around that's, him. Why, that's why mm -hmm. there's a comment about a week ago 
saying that Donald Trump is uh, building up the the richest cabinet of U.S. history. Definitely, definitely. Presidential cabinet definitely. of U.S. history, yeah. right? Okay. Now, mm, the 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 third party. Okay, I'll call it third party because the relatively uh, third party is kind of more silent rather than making a big response. Yet China does give some response to a certain extent. What's your comment about uh, China's response to this issue? And uh, well, to your judgment, is it to the level of uh, supreme, to the level of medium, or to the level of uh, kind of routine? Well, what's your comment? Well, on first, that one? Uh, first, uh, we all know that uh, the Chinese government and the Chinese people mm -hmm. recognize the foundation, mm -hmm. how important this bedrock foundation is. Mm -hmm. Now, without this foundation, mm -hmm. U.S. China would not have had a diplomatic relationship mm -hmm. in 1970s. Yes, yeah, all right. So that's how important everything's built mm -hmm. on that. So you don't want to shook that foundation. Mm -hmm. However, the way that the Chinese government responded to Mr. Trump's uh, uh, word, uh, Mr. Trump said, why do I have to stick with the one China policy? Mm -hmm. Now the Chinese government definitely have protested mm -hmm. uh, in the formal diplomatic way. However, uh, given that Mr. Trump has said a lot of wild things mm -hmm. uh, during election, and he's not official president of the United States yet. Mm -hmm. So what China did is being very cautious, being very careful. Mm -hmm. They don't want to uh, boiling this issue oh, okay, to okay, the point yeah. it's uh -huh. out of control. However, mm -hmm. China did show mm -hmm. to the U.S. and to the world how serious it is. Mm -hmm. And recently, uh -huh. it's probably the first time the Chinese have a fly uh -huh. nuclear bombers in the South China Sea, oh, now which you don't a, see that before, a, that's a heavy and duty, that's, that's extremely a, heavy duty uh, uh, heavy signs, duty, or symbols action, to yeah. say do not mess around mm -hmm. with a solid foundation, mm -hmm. because if you shook the foundation, everything changes diplomatically, economically, and military. You could mm -hmm. start a war if you encourage Taiwan another word, to go by, independent way. In other words, by international diplomacy. China does not say anything stronger than they usually say. Correct. Yet, with the military actions, they did show some muscles. Absolutely. Right? They're ready some to. Some muscles. Yeah. There's really big muscles, right? Saying that this is the cost of going wrong. The action is more important than words. Okay. The Chinese has protested mm -hmm. what Donald Trump has mm -hmm. said, even if he's now is the only uh, president-elect. Mm -hmm. but. Chinese are flying nuclear bombers over the South China say, mm -hmm. Sea, mm -hmm. and that's indicated how strong they feel about this issue as well as South China Sea and then other issues. Mm -hmm. So I you think don't have to link this to to the uh, to the Trump pick of the call thing, right? But by timing, judging the time, whatever, you know exactly that's the response of it. I think uh, Mr. Trump realized that uh, if he had to throw some wild cards, mm. he better threw it before he became the president. Uh, That's what he's doing. Uh, I see, I he see, threw uh, some wild cards, see, he I threw see. stones in the water, he okay. flipped some stones mm. there. He was not the president. You know what? He's not president I yet. See, he's see. president elect. Mm. So if he wants to test waters, through some it wild card, it he's throwing now. it now. It is now. So from that okay, point of view, you got to give him right, credit right, right, for right. testing the water now, uh -huh. rather than you know after his inauguration. That's what, that what, what playboys do. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think uh, there's some limit uh -huh, uh -huh. on anything. Uh -huh. You can negotiate it with the Chinese for economical terms and you can negotiate uh, in uh, a lot of other issues, mm -hmm. but you simply do not want to shook the foundation one-sided. No, 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 no. And okay, that yeah, will simply right, right, right. Uh, you know, create a yeah. huge, huge uh, Okay, all right, uh, good, thank there. you, thank mm -hmm. you. To my audience, uh, from day one, I'm not a supporter for Donald Trump, and it goes on until towards the end of the election, I kind of move myself to the middle of the road, supporting none. Even in the moment of voting, I just flip off the first page, let it go for free, something like that. And then we started to hear about his 100-day plan, 
And some of the plan I feel very legit and I gave my support and some didn't work. And never had I been prepared to see what he's doing now with Taiwan issue. And I really get not only upset, upset is not a word, I get mystified, I get lost. That's why I have my friend, Dr. Peter Fu here to share his uh, light on this issue and issues related. Uh, let's take a moment out when we come back. We'll talk, we shall talk about issues related such as the uh, nomination, the appointee of uh, uh, ambassador to China, right? Let's see what that holds in the box. Stay with us. Hello, my dear audience, and welcome back to the East West Show, exclusively sponsored by Paul Batali, a internationally renowned men's style suit for its Italian name. Not only that, but the quality, the fabric being water resistant, being stretchable, and the workmanship. And I checked with my own ruler about the, even the hand stitch. The hand stitches are so even, they look like a machine gun. Right. Oh, by the way, such as the one I'm wearing, Paul Batali. Thank you, Paul Batali, for sponsoring. Uh, we go back to the show with my good friend, Dr. Peter Fu. Uh, we're sharing lights on this issue about uh, Donald Trump picking up calls from Tsai Ing-wen of Taiwan to discuss what they want to discuss. And to Peter Fu, that Donald Trump is testing water because he th thought he is obligated of the weapon industry that is door that door open or that door no nor not open when I do take office, and if he's te testing water, he'd better be testing now because everything he says after January twentieth next year will become U.S. policy. Right? Okay. Very good. So uh, thank you for coming here, Peter. Thank you again. Next thing, which is funny enough, about three something days later after the call, he named the uh, Terry uh, Kongstad. Brinstead. Uh, Brinstead. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry Brinstead, the uh, governor of, uh, of uh, Iowa, as uh, ambassador to China. So, and for a moment, even now, there are lots of responses lots of uh, positivities or negativities in the comments. So, what's yours, please? Well, this is why that I have uh, said before that uh, Mr. Trump uh, is uh, smart enough to realize how important U.S.-China relation is. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Brenstead uh, is the governor of Iowa, mm -hmm. and uh, he personally knows Mr. and President Xi Jinping mm -hmm. uh, from 1975, probably. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, 85, 85. Yeah, yeah. 1985, mm -hmm. for example. And uh, so they are actually good friends. Mm. They met with each other, you know, before in the U.S. And uh, uh, so I, this is why that I think uh, Mr. Trump, uh, sometimes you have to look at his action rather than just his words. Mm -hmm. So I think this pick of the new Chinese ambassador mm. uh, is a great choice for both the U.S. and China. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Brenstead knows uh, China a lot compared mm. to a lot of other politicians. Mm. And also, uh, Mr. Brand uh, uh, is a friend of the president of a Chinese government, mm. which is also another plus. And in addition, Iowa is agriculture. Uh, uh, state. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of uh, the agriculture in I Iowa actually sold to China, whether you're talking about the corns, soybeans, mm -hmm. grains, and other things. Potatoes. So yeah, mm -hmm. th those are good starting point. Okay. Now let's look at back a little bit. If we shock the foundation, uh, as uh, Mr. Trump said that, that he probably want to use, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, China, one China, uh, uh, Taiwan, uh, as a car to play. Mm -hmm. Now remember, U.S. has made a lot of mistakes in the history, mm -hmm. whether it is invade Iraq, 
whether it's in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and I don't think they get an upper hand in Korean War either. So they no, made a lot no, of mistakes. No, nobody did, yeah. Now, just because mm -hmm. they're number one does not mean that they can actually do anything they want. They have to uh, realize the consequences. Mm -hmm. And also in the Middle East, they, you know what, they are part of uh, the starting elements of what they call the Arab Spring. Mm -hmm. You know what? So, yeah, and they look yeah. at it, what Arab? As, as well, what happened fact, in the Middle we, East? We started. Middle East. We started yeah, exactly. So, so you got to yeah. be careful. So we're talking about the consequences. Mm -hmm. So whatever you say and whatever you do, will have consequences. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the important thing for uh, uh, the leadership in Taiwan, mm -hmm. they also have to realize that Taiwan is a card, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. there's, there, there's, they are a card. So they should realize that by buying $1.82 billion of U.S. Uh, 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 decommissioned mm, military decom weapon, mili decommissioned mili military, military weapon, mm. will not actually make them more safer. Mm. In reality, mm. if the foundation is shocked, that will make the U.S. and China relationship worse. That will also make U.S. and Taiwan relationship more dangerous than before. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the U.S. and China relationship over the last 40, 50 years, and the Chinese and the U.S., they never had a direct fight. However, mm -hmm. they did fight in Vietnam and they did fight in Korea. So they, the U.S. did not gain upper hands. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about a 40, 56 years later, I don't think it is the interest of the U.S. to fight with China mm -hmm. militarily either in any way or form, especially Taiwan yeah, exactly, is so close exactly, to China. Exactly. I think uh, Mr. Trump realized uh, we're talking how about important signals. Yeah, signals, to keep peace of Signals, that. right? Mm -hmm. What kind of signals do you think that Donald Trump uh, wanted to give to China by the, with the appointee? Well, I think uh, Mr. Trump uh, wants to continue the uh, existing economical uh, mm. uh, uh, route, but uh, I, I think uh, uh, Mr. Trump also wants to uh, reduce the deficit trade between U.S. and China. Mm. However, when you're talking about U.S.-China trade, when you're talking about uh, you know, deficit, you have to realize the invisible investment by the Chinese people. Mm -hmm. When they invest their kids in the education, when they invest the real estate, when they invest for the companies, not all of them are necessarily registered in the uh, commerce of the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. So I, I always have a doubt about the deficit. Mm -hmm. If the U.S. and China's deficit is as big as they claimed over the 30 some years, and the Chinese people would not probably live with 10 to 15 dollars per day. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think it's questionable that the trade it has that much of a uh -huh. deficit as mm -hmm. the U.S. commerce claimed. It There's a lot of invisible investment yeah, that benefited it, U.S. a lot. I know, I know, I know that part. It's still not clear uh, if this action of this uh, pointing uh, ambassador to China has anything to do or has something to do with the Tsai Ing-wen call. Well, or are they separate issues or the second issue is just a kind of a signal to easy to ease the first issue. How are they related? Well, first, I don't think uh, they have any relationship at all uh, when Mr. Trump no. appointed a Brainstead. Mm -hmm. Because when Mr. Trump uh, deal with China and deal with China and the U.S. a future relationship, I don't think in his mind that Taiwan weighs that much at all. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, yes, Taiwan is a card. Uh, you know, from uh, Mr. Trump's point of view, it's a bargaining chip. Now, which the White House has said mm -hmm. that Taiwan mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. a bargaining chip mm -hmm. for one China policy. Okay. However, by picking Mr. Brainstead uh, by Mr. Trump, I think it's a great move. And I th think it's a very smart move by Mr. Trump to keep a good relationship with China. And that's exactly what Mr. Trump said. Uh -huh. He said, uh -huh. you know, he's uh, pointing Mr. Brainstead. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brainstead is a friendship is a friend of China, ah, it's a friendship okay. of President Xi Jinping. Mm -hmm. By picking Mr. Brandstad, will continue to better the relationship ah. with China and the U.S. I think from that point of view, I really applause his uh, uh, appointment mm -hmm. for Mr. Uh, Brandstad. Okay. I think it's a great move rather than 
you know, other uh, possible candidates. Okay. I think it means that Brian Stan yet, definitely yet for this are, position fantastically. There are quite a few comments that are pointing uh, different directions, such as the uh, Global Times. There is one comment saying that uh, they say the following, that China needs to always prepare for the worst and stay open to the good. Let's take a short moment out. When we come back, shall we spend some time on this piece? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Hello, my dear folks, my dear audience, we love you every time when Moment Allow will bring information to you to share with you about what's going on with this, with this world. And now it is important, uh, we are talking about in 2017 days, there should be another president of the United States sitting in the Oval Office that's no longer Obama, but Donald Trump. Okay, in preparation of taking that seat, our president-elect, Donald Trump, is very busy these days, including making some wrong move, and some are very wrong. For that, we would like to point out that uh, taking call from Tsai Ing-wen of uh, Taiwan was a uh, wrong signal, or a signal that's wrongly delivered. <laughs> Either way, any, anything wrong. And in the meantime, there is something positive. We're talking about his uh, appointment to uh, ambassador to China, Mr. Branstad. Uh, well, he's a good guy that we know him, even we know him, uh, for that. And there is a saying, there's lots of comments in the, oh, by the way, I have my uh, good friend, Peter Fu, Dr. Peter Fu, sharing this Uh, his light on this issue. Uh, Dr. Peter Fu is our political com commentator, and he has uh, some of the highly elevated uh, takes. Well, right? thank you, thank yeah. you, uh, thank you. One thing, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, prior to the break, we say the global times, such as global time, there's a saying that China needs to always prepare for the worst and to stay open for the good. Mm -hmm not the best, for the good. For the worst, prepare for the worst and stay open for the good. Okay. So, what's your take on this? Well, speech? you know what, uh, that uh, word sounds, uh, uh, what is called, has its own meaning. However, when you look at the global relationship, Uh, there's always imbalance. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, sometimes uh, one nation in this level, one nation in this level, okay? Uh, when the U.S. Uh, think uh, the Iraq has a, a, a ma weapon of a mass destruction and they can go there and just destroy them. Mm -hmm. And then they find that they don't have that. Mm -hmm. Now, when they talk uh, with, with the Chinese government uh, economically, mm -hmm. they are about a similar level, mm -hmm. okay? There's like a mm -hmm. big, huge two tigers okay. in the same uh, mountain, okay. right? All right. The, the Chinese say that uh, the one mountain cannot have a two Tiger kings, but we do have. But in this tiger particular kings, yeah. international stage, mm -hmm. the two tiger king must work with each other. Uh -huh. Now, when 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 the news media say or oh, prepare for the worst, I disagree. There's nothing to for the Chinese to be scared of oh, you in any way or form. You disagree. They, oh, okay. When you say prepare the worst, it means uh, some bad things will happen. Yeah, really you got to be prepared. Really worst. But but for mm. Chinese wise, you know, they are self sustained economy nowadays mm. compared to 50, 60 years ago. They okay. primarily mm. depending on the exporting to the, the US mm. for their cheap good. But now 30 years after, they are self-sustained economy. Okay. They're no longer, you know, depend on the very self cheap sustain the economy. Self-sustained national defense e economy. too. Yeah, self-sustained economy, uh, defense also. Yeah, yeah. So from that point of view, uh, economy-wise, military-wise, they're not necessarily depend on the U.S. So that's why you disagree with the no, fact why, uh, yeah. that when they say China should always be prepared for the worst. No, there's nothing, uh, uh -huh. you know, to, to, to be, uh, when, when one party to the Other uh -huh. say that you got to be careful, prepare for the worst. Uh -huh. That's not happening. 
between the U.S. and China nowadays because you know what? The stake for both countries are so high. Millions of jobs, billions、uh -huh. of、uh, of trade,、mm. and、uh, I, I think no matter who's the president of the United States, they eventually will realize、mm. the reality、It、that you cannot、enough. shock. It is funny enough. Let me stick to this,、uh, to this one comment.、Mm. It is funny enough. It says to prepare for the worst,、mm -hmm. not for worse,、mm -hmm. right? If you go in pair,、mm. you prepare for worse and then open for good,、mm. worse, good, or something, or better. That's the balance somehow. And then the negative side it says prepare for the worst、mm -hmm. and only open for the good. Well, that's exactly. I mean,、uh, who wants to、uh, start a conflict, especially between the U.S. and China?、Mm -hmm. You know, the Chinese people love the U.S. people, and the U.S. people also love the Chinese people. They、uh, really open their arms. They marry and,、uh, each other. Well, yeah, that's exactly. They marry you each other, right? <laughs> they, that's good one. Lots of beauty girls. Well, well, that, that, yeah, economically and culture-wise, and, and、uh, I, I and want. The only、it. sorry part is、yeah. that there is、uh, less cases of vice versa. Well, you know what? We, we should work more on that. I, I wanted the U.S. and China relationship continue to、mm. be in that good route. However, when you look at the prepared for the worst,、right. okay. the Chinese government was not hesitating it, to、yeah. participate. Paid in vain.、Uh, nine. And the, by the way, yeah, the, by the way, that reminds me、mm. of one thing in history:、mm. when there is a conflict which is unsolved or unsolvable、mm. conflicts,、mm. they always marry each other. Say Wen Cheng Gong Zhu or Chao Jin Chu Zai. Those are the stories of right, that, right, right? Right. Okay. Now we call we let, let's do say instead of getting married, we're talking about let the economy marry.、Oh, that's exactly. That, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let the economy marry.、Mm. Let the、uh, finance marry. As a matter of fact, the finance has married already. That's true, and economy also. Over the last thirty、uh, years, economy also, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. well, in the ancient China, when two tribes would have, so you know, had a dispute, there is no worse to come.、Right? Yeah, 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 exactly.、Uh -huh. it, it, as as you indicate, that in the ancient China, when the two tribes,、uh, yeah. you know, they had they had a dispute,、uh, mm -hmm. they tried to、uh, mediate、mm -hmm. uh, the relationship by marrying each other and, and, and the Lancaster family. Yeah, the Lancaster、mm -hmm. conflict. The, Lancaster family come、mm. the same thing. They follow the same rule. Now let's use the marriage、mm. to, in a broader sense、mm. to cover economy. Well, you know what?、Uh, you, yeah, exactly.、Mm. Uh, you use a good point.、Uh, you know, to to、uh, actually have a great relationship, and I think U.S. and China's relationship is more than like the marriage. They actually have more of broader relationship、mm. mingling together,、right. not only from the emotional point of view. And there are kids already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah. at the joint ventures. Exactly. Yeah, those are the kids of the marriage. Right, 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 right. right? And、uh, take the、uh, the past、uh, film festival,、mm. the twelve the Chinese American Film Festival, for example.、Mm. At the summit, there are four discussions. Okay. Four discussion for a whole day. And、all the four discussions are talking about a marriage mm, mm. of uh, money, mm -hmm. technology, China, United States,、mm. to 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 promote the film,、mm. to promote the television series, using that as a channel、mm -hmm. to bring people together as a bridge. So. Well, that's 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 true.、Uh, that's true. I, I think when you look back the history, thousand years, and when you look forward,、uh, mm -hmm. you know what, five hundred and a thousand years, you would realize that、uh, people, no matter、uh, what, they have to move forward. And some people were saying that、mm -hmm. a thousand years ago, the Chinese people、uh, did not look like we're now.、Mm -hmm. So in one thousand years. Uh, you know, now we're all Chinese,、mm. but the same thing between U.S. and China. In next,、uh, say, few hundred years to a thousand years, the difference look, a difference ideology, and a difference in culture you're right, you're may、right. not be that much different. <laughs> that gives so, us a, gives us one more one more、uh, re re revenue. You're thinking about、uh, given it enough time, like say thousand years.、Okay. There is a citizen of the Earth. Citizen every, of the Earth. Citizen of a citizen of the Earth. Yeah,、exactly. everybody should look the same. Yeah, similar or same,、right. and uh, so I、uh, cannot guarantee my grand grand grandson, great grandson, marry some、uh, some some other people of other race, and then all together it goes on and on. It's like a mixed pot. 
Well, exactly. I mean, look at the, the current world stage. Uh, they have a lot of individual issues. They have a lot of complicated issues. Mm -hmm. But eventually, eventually, they come down to the interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? A lot of people are saying that uh, the U.S. is not interested in implementing diploma, uh, d uh, democracy mm -hmm. uh, system to Iraq. Okay, that's why the people are protesting that well, no blood for oil, no yeah, yeah, blood yeah, yeah, for oil. Yeah, what does that yeah. mean? Oil. It is interest yeah. the of blood energy, for oil, oil. Anyway, all right, all right. interest, yeah, that's a, defense industry. That's exactly. So what uh, Mr. That's Trump exactly. is doing, saying, that's is why, also reflected the that's interest why, between that's why, China, by U.S. The way, yeah, yeah, by yeah. using Taiwan as a card. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, now well, let's give it give it to a conclusion of today's study. Mm -hmm. Number one, even though somebody such as Donald Trump is trying to rock the foundation, even by mistakenly testing water in this area, the foundation will not be shocked. Correct. Right? Correct. It will not be overturned. Correct. Number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, the appointment made by Donald Trump mm -hmm. to Chinese ambassador is a plus to U.S.-China relations. Can we confirm these two? Absolutely. Uh, I think, uh, as I said, um, yes, we definitely need to watch what he's saying mm -hmm. before his inoculation. Mm -hmm. But uh, more importantly, mm -hmm. we need to see what he's doing. Uh, I think uh, some of uh, you know his uh, cabinet uh, picking uh, mm -hmm. are brilliant. Uh, mm -hmm. And especially the you know the Chinese uh, ambassador, Mr. Brainstead, yeah, yeah, yeah. is great choice. Uh -huh. And I personally think it is very promising still for the U.S.-China relationship. All right, very However, good. Uh -huh. you have to uh, get uh, things in control, not out of control. You know, yeah. keep our he, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from uh, a Chinese uh, government point of view, they also also need to watch what he's going to say next, what he's going to do next. So, I think it's managing relationship. once he takes office. Yeah, once managing relationship is extremely important because that exactly. will lead to a better future or a worse the future, worse the mm -hmm. future. Okay. So I think Mr. Trump and the Chinese government are smart enough to realize and as by the, managing as the into third conclusion, better relationship as the will third benefit conclusion, both countries. The comment that the Global Time made was not that wrong. It was basically right by logic. Well, right? yes, I, I think anything's possible, just remain to be seen for what he's going to do All right. for the new U.S.-China relationship. Very good. Very good. All right. Even though the title says that well, we do not know what Trump is going to do with the U.S.-China relationship, uh, through discussion, we start to see some pictures. Number one, the foundation will never be rocked. And number two, and then the, the appointment for ambassador to China was a good move and uh, will continue making see some positive conferences, I mean consequences. And also number three, with uh, Dr. Peter Fu, the conclusion is that the uh, comment made by Global Time was not that, that wrong to be prepared for the worst and yet to be open for Remain the to be seen. Remain to be seen. Remain to be All seen. All right. To my dear audience, thank you very much. We're over time already. And uh, I love that because I forgot. The fact is that I was so deep, I forgot the time tracking. And to my good friend, Dr. Peter Fu, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Glad to be here every time. Thank Glad. you. Thank you.